the movie begins at the funeral service for the wife of retired Korean War vet, Walt Kowalski, as he scowls at the unwanted guests, especially his granddaughter Ashley, who seems to have a promising career in the OnlyFans industry, and the rest of his grandkids making a mockery of the service. His two sons talk about their grumpy father, having given up hope of trying to please him in any way. Seeing that Walt is now alone, the brothers discuss what to do with him as if he were groceries. Neither of them wants to take him to their home though, as they cannot handle him. After torturing himself through the service, Walt hosts his family and a bunch of other people who came after the service for food. Walt heads to the basement to get more chairs when he stumbles upon his grandsons going through his old war stuff, but ignores them as they scamper away. Unable to tolerate the crowd any longer, Walt leads his elderly Labrador, Daisy, outside for a walk. He gets to his garage where he catches Ashley smoking, but ignores her. This young girl then has the audacity to ask Walt about his plans for his vintage Ford Torino when he dies, but Walt manages to hold back the devil and leave. He gets a visit from his neighbor, a Korean boy named Tao, who asks him for jumper cables, but Walt gets PTSD, curses him out, then slams the door shut. Walt runs into Father Janovich, who is tasked by Walt's wife to pay close attention to him and help him go to confession, but Walt blatantly tells him he does not care for church and confessing to a boy fresh out of the seminary. Walt is helping a family member with jumper cables when his son drives by, claiming that the kids are getting restless, but in reality, he just wants to get out of there. He is heading in when he sees his Korean neighbors, the Vang Lors, having a party and slaughtering a chicken and scowls at them, calling them barbarians. The next day he is cleaning up his yard when the old Korean grandmother comes out and curses him in her native language. Walt spits, but grandma does the same, showing Walt she is his match. A few days later, Father Janovich stops by to check up on Walt who tries turning him away but Janovich is determined to talk. Walt then lets him know that he does not think much of the young father, calling him an overeducated, superstitious kid. We then see Tao walking along the road reading, when some Mexican gangsters from a rival neighborhood drive up and start hassling him. Just then, Tao's gang leader cousin Spider is driving by with his goons and sees Tao. They drive down on the gangsters and they have a drive-by word fight. The Mexicans flash a revolver, but the Koreans have that strainer maker so they speed off. Spider and his goons try to get Tao to get in the car and join them, but Tao ignores their insults and keeps walking. Later, Spider swings by the home and sees Tao gardening and mocks him. Tao's sister Sue tries to defend him but the goons start hitting on her so she leaves. Spider then convinces Tao that he is weak alone and the gang is the only one that can protect him. Tao finally accepts. To initiate him into the gang, Spider brings them to Walt's house where they see his vintage car and want him to steal it. Janovich runs into Walt and other men from his church at a bar, but he only wants to talk to Walt not wanting to break his wife's promise. Walt finally relents and the two sit and talk. Janovich starts talking about life and death, but Walt tells him he has no idea. He explains the gruesome things he was forced to do in the Korean War, things that will stay with him until death. Janovich asks him what he knows about life, noting that he knows more about dying than living, and Walt reluctantly agrees. That night, Walt is awakened to sounds in his garage and goes to get his rifle. He bursts into the garage only to see a scared Tao there but trips and falls. Tao escapes and even runs away, leaving his getaway car. The next day, Walt is barricading his garage when he gets a call from his son Mitch, who pretends to be checking up on Walt, but turns out he wants tickets to a game so Walt hangs up. That night, Spider and his boys pull up to see Tao talking with Sue. They want him to roll with them and when he refuses, Spider grabs him. The other family members come out and a fight breaks out over Tao. Walt's garden gnome gets smashed in the process and he comes out angrily pointing his gun at the gangsters, ordering them to get off his lawn. They fail to intimidate Walt and are forced to back off, warning him to watch his back. The following day, Walt hears a sound and grabs his gun, but it turns out to be the Vang Lors, all bringing gifts to his porch as thanks. Walt throws away the first set, but sees Sue bringing more gifts. He wants them to stay away, but Sue explains that this is their custom. Tao then steps up and apologizes for trying to steal his car, but Walt warns him to stay off his property and storms away. Janovich stops by the home, berating Walt for acting rashly and not calling the police. Walt recalls having to act quickly in the war, but Janovich reminds him he is not in Korea. 
he again tries to convince Walt that unloading the burden of his past would be best for him, and this seems to connect with Walt. The next day, Sue and her boyfriend are walking home when they run into three gangsters who begin hassling Sue, calling her hot, such lies. The guys start pressuring the white boy who is pushed away, so Sue has to stand up for herself, so the men start getting physical. Walt is driving by and sees the goons, so he pulls up. They tell him to leave, but Walt steps out to face them telling them they picked the wrong one today. Walt aims his finger at them like a gun and they think he is crazy, so he pulls a real gun, ordering Sue to get in his truck before leaving. On the way, she tells him about her people, her history, and how they ended up in America. Walt takes a liking to Sue and asks about her brother, but learns that he is just confused and not sure what direction to go in. Walt is later sitting on his porch reading the paper when he sees an elderly neighbor drop her bag of groceries, but some boys simply walk by laughing. He then sees Tao go to help the old woman, and thinks he's not so bad after all. On Walt's birthday, Mick and his wife stop by bringing him some weird gifts. Their real intention is to try getting him into a retirement home, maybe so they can gain control of the house. Walt scowls while they talk, then finally throws them out of the house. That evening, Sue comes by to visit him, inviting him to their barbecue, but Walt is very reluctant. He then realizes he's out of beer, and Sue uses this to coax him to come over. He gets his beer, and Sue's grandmother cusses him out before Sue pulls him away. She tells him about their customs, which he thinks is weird, but he does find the food appealing. The Vanglore's family shaman then shows an interest in Walt and asks to read him to which he agrees. The shaman reads Walt well, noting that he is troubled and not at peace, and this gets to him. Walt then has a coughing fit and rushes to the bathroom, where he realizes that he is coughing up blood. Sue comes to check on him, and he lies that he bit his tongue. Soon Walt is comfortable with the older ladies of the family as they stuff him with food. Sue brings him downstairs where the younger kids are hanging out including Tao. Walt stands back and realizes that Tao has a crush on a girl there that likes him, but he is too scared to talk to her. Walt goes to talk to Tao, then starts to scold him for being weak and scared and having no balls to talk to the girl who has been staring at him all evening. After getting it all out of system Walt decides to head home. Walt's neighbors still bring him food every day, and he slowly begins to warm up to his neighbors. Sue and her mother bring Tao to work off his debt to Walt, who agrees after being convinced by Sue. Walt then sees an abandoned house next door and puts Tao to work cleaning up the eyesore. On Tao's last day, he comes by to do his final task but Walt tells him to take the day as he has done enough. Walt goes to a hospital and sees a doctor where she diagnoses him with a sickness he conceals. He calls his son with his test results by his side, asking about the family, but Mitch gets impatient and ends the call. The next day Tao is clearing some trash for Walt when Spider and his goons roll by, and Walt mocks shooting at them with his finger. Tao decides to stay around Walt who begins mentoring him. Tao is interested in getting a job in sales but first he would need to attend school which costs money he does not have. Walt then suggests that he get a job in construction, and offers to use his connections to help Tao. Walt brings Tao to his friend in town who is a barber, hoping that the man can help mentor and guide Tao even after he's gone. Walt then brings Tao to his construction friend who agrees to have Tao work for him, being such good friends with Walt. The two then stop by a hardware store and Walt gets him some items. Tao is grateful and thanks Walt and the two share a handshake. Tao is heading home from work when he encounters Spider and the gang. The gangsters start harassing Tao, smashing his tools before one burns him with a cigarette in his face. A few days later, Tao encounters Walt who hasn't seen him in a while. Walt sees his injury, and Tao tells him about the attack and losing his tools. Walt is pissed hearing this, but Tao refuses to get him involved. The next day, Walt tracks down the gangster's hideout. The one that burnt Tao is alone inside, and Walt lures him to the front door then brutally attacks him. Walt brutally beats him down then holds a gun to him, warning him to stay away from Tao, or he will return and things will get ugly. The next day, Walt is hanging out with the Vanglores when he learns that Tao finally asked his crush out on a date. Walt is pleased hearing this, and even offers to lend Tao his Gran Torino, and the boy is excited hearing this. That night, Spider and his goons do a drive-by on his own family's home and spray it with bullets. Walt rushes out as they speed away and hears screams coming from the Vanglores. 
Tao has been grazed in the neck by a bullet, but the rest of the family is okay. Sue is not at home, but Walt tells them to call her as he suspects that the gang may be out for more revenge, but Tao cannot get through to her. Walt stays with the family that night, and soon they hear a car speed off. At that moment, a beaten and battered Sue walks in, having been taken advantage of by the gangsters, and Walt is in shock. He storms home where he trashes the kitchen out of anger before sitting down in the dark with tears streaming down his face. Father Janovich comes by to visit him, and the two sit and talk. Janovich knows that Walt wants vengeance but cannot find a good reason to talk Walt out of it because he is also angry about the attack. Walt is not sure what he will do, whatever he does, the men will not have a chance. The next morning, Tao comes by wanting to get revenge on the gangsters. Walt wants him to calm down and think as they are going up against guns and gangsters. He convinces Tao to return home, but to visit him at four that afternoon and he reluctantly agrees. Walt mows his lawn, takes a bath, then gets himself a brand new haircut, paying with a twenty and telling his friend to keep the change. After getting a fitted suit made for himself, Walt stops by to visit Janovich finally ready to give his confession. Walt confesses that he was never close with his two sons, and this bothered him all his life. Janovich closes the confession, then demands to know what Walt is planning. Walt refuses to explain, but Janovich can realize that he is ready to put his life on the line for revenge. That evening Walt is cleaning his guns when Tao comes by ready to get started. Walt brings him to the basement and gifts Tao his silver star he got from the war. He leaves Tao to close up but locks him inside the basement to keep him safe. He tells Tao that he is not ready for taking a life and explains how he was forced to shoot a young boy in the war which haunts him. Walt calls Sue that night, giving her instructions on how to free her brother. Janovich brings two cops to the gang's known hideout, warning that something will happen, but the cops cannot stick around and the men leave. Sue manages to free Tao, but by that time, Walt has made it to the gang's hideout. The gangsters spot him and they all come out. Spider aims his gun at Walt who urges them to take a shot. By that time, all the neighbors have come out to witness what is happening. Walt then takes out a cigarette, then goes for his lighter, but the gangsters think he is going for a gun and they all open fire, hitting Walt and killing him on the spot. Tao and Sue arrive on the scene where they see Walt's body being removed. All the gangsters have been arrested and will face their justice. At Walt's funeral, his family, along with the Vang Lors and the other natives, are in attendance. At the will's reading, Walt leaves his house to the church in his Gran Torino to Tao, under the condition that he makes no modifications to it. After, we see Tao driving the Gran Torino with Daisy by his side. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.